This particular research paper is called Large Language Model Enhanced Particle Swarm Optimization for Hyperparameter Tuning for Deep Learning Models. And this paper is not put out by me. It's put out by the IEEE. If you're not familiar with what the IEEE is, that stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, uh, which is essentially the largest tech organization in the world overall. And so they put out this research paper. And I've been making videos on my channel now for, let's call it like three years. Uh, in that three years, I've made a, a plethora of videos, a majority of my videos, especially my earlier videos and my like uh, more experimental videos are all around particle swarm optimization. I lay out this method to you very specifically over and over again, uh, starting about two years ago. <laughs> I get very big and very deep on swarm optimization. I, I mean, go to my GitHub. Let's just let's go here to my GitHub. So go to my repositories. Put swarm. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, going back three years, uh, two, three years in here. Um, so like. Uh, here it is, right? And and like, I mean, over and over again, like the like earliest criticisms that I would always get is like, well, if you know, if if uh, your ideas are actually accurate, then like, you know, where's the research? There'll be research on it. There'll be people putting stuff out for it. Blah blah blah. Right? I, I am so beyond tired of seeing these things at this point. Like, uh, I told you so. I told you so five hundred times. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know how else to frame these things overall right i mean uh, er, er, uh, i don't just make things up <laughs> i uh, essentially like i started off my career very specifically i have told this story before right uh, my mentor was a cfo who came up at, in the technical side of things so he's a cfo minded individual with a tech background i've fortunately had more than one mentor in that specific position at this point that's kind of very much shaped my uh professional mindset how i look at things overall etc right so the very first thing that i do when i step into uh, an organization try to understand the technical aspects of something is i want to understand the whole entire picture of it right i want to be the map maker i need to understand how every single piece of it works together. Uh, and then I understand, and I have a lot of experience, uh, about 20 years of experience doing that with large complex systems and large complex organizations, right? So um, you're, um, the, the back end of a Fortune 20 is not more complex than an AI model when it comes to uh, like the technical complexity, right? Like <laughs> it's it just not. There's a, a plethora of complexity that comes into AI outside of the technical complexity, right? And then so that's what makes AI so hard overall, I think, to a lot of people is it's this blending of knowledge, right? So I have, I mean, personally, 20 years of IT, it's my professional background, my entire hobby life has been spent in uh, like uh, physics and related fields. Uh, I've been talking about particle swarm optimization and swarm algorithms since the 1990s overall like uh these things have been like a, a part and a forefront uh, of my mind like these aren't things that i just started thinking of yesterday <laughs> i'm not like prompt engineering and vibe coding these things out right like i mean this is uh literal research here it is now over and over and over and over and over and over again now like i mean how many times now <laughs> like uh if you know uh you know here it is like so this is another one uh, related to uh, exactly what I have been telling you now for three years. And then so essentially what they're telling you very specifically uh, within this is that uh, while particle swarm optimization and large language models have been individually applied in optimization and deep learning, their combined use for enhancing convergence and numerical optimization tasks remains underexplored. Huh. Uh, except for by me, <laughs> I've, I've explored the heck out of this. Uh, their work addresses the gap by integrating LLM into PSO to reduce model uh, model evaluations and improve convergence. And then so they go through, they explain, give you a good example of what PSO is, uh, how a large that relates to and is different than large language models. 
And then they combine. It's not hard. <laughs> like, these are algorithms. Like, I mean, I, I, I understand a majority of people don't understand these things. I get that. But you have someone that has a 20 year IT background that's telling you these things over and over and over and over again. Like, I don't know how many other t- ways to uh, explain these things out to people. <laughs> right. But so uh, here it is. And then so uh, their, their logic and, and their friend, this is the entire framework that they build out. Right. This is the model. This is the like entire framework and the model. How does an idiot like me come up with these things? Because these things aren't that complex. Like it's not that hard to actually break down and understand this diagram. I've looked at these diagrams and diagrams like this for 20 freaking plus years over and over again to understand exactly how these things work, right? It's not hard to, to, to uh, break down this particular equation here. And then they break down uh, exactly how PSO works. Um, what the logic is behind it. And then they create some algorithms, right? And then they create a multitude of algorithms that are designed to uh, essentially um, utilize PSO driven optimization for LLM models. Um, and then uh, I've gone through, I've done this in, in a multitude of ways at this point and in a multitude of years. I have a GitHub repos, Colab notebooks, et cetera. Like uh, go through my work if you want to go ahead and, and, and reproduce their findings here. I mean, at this point, it gets a bit frustrating, like seeing these uh, just over and over and over again. Like, I mean, uh, here, here you go. <laughs> like, uh, and I, I have to deal with so much criticism all the time from people that have literally zero idea uh, about anything at all. But they, they, they definitely have opinions, right? Uh, but they're not willing to research or dive into these things. But somehow they have an opinion that my opinions are flawed, right? Um, but so, I mean, here it is. Uh, like, these aren't just my opinions, right? Here's uh, like. Uh, Every, like uh, my name isn't on here, right? <laughs> Here's all of the, the people uh, backing up. If you've seen any videos on my channel now, you know exactly what I'm talking about with this, uh, with regards towards particle swarm optimization. How many times do I talk about that? How many times have I talked about blending this with LLM models? Uh, I can take this. So if if you want to start a multi million dollar venture, like if you want an actual venture capital investment that would actually give you a return on your investment in your money in regards towards AI. What I've been trying to tell people now for two plus years, this is the avenue to look at, right? Uh, this is where I would put all of my money, all of my investment. I like you could have been two years ahead of the game if you just simply listened to me two years ago. Uh, but now there's okay now like so. Uh, uh, if I'm right, people are going to catch on to this, right? Here it is. <laughs> you, you, like the the. Uh, I, I mean, uh, at this point, it's not going to get more uh, robust than this as far as attention goes, right? So, uh, yeah, here it is. It works. I, I've told you. I told you. <laughs> uh, here you go. So, uh, if you like this type of content, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, thank you.